हेलो सो टुडे लेट्स रीड यूनिट सिक्स उत्तंकास गुरु दक्षिणा वंस अपॉन अ टाइम व्हेन द वाइज मेन ऑफ इंडिया डवेल्ट इन फॉरेस्ट हर्मिटेजेस एंड मेड देयर होम्स ऑफ मड एंड स्ट्रॉ देयर लिव्ड इन वन सच हर्मिटेज अ यंग बॉय कॉल्ड उत्तंका मेनी इयर्स पास्ड बाय एंड ही ग्रू अप सून ही हैड लर्नड ऑल दैट हिज मास्टर कुड टीच हिम one day he went to his master and said dear master you have taught me all these years and yet i have never once repaid you tell me of some gift i may bring you that will please your heart his teacher said child there is nothing that i desire go to your mother and ask her so uttanka went to his guru's wife and bowing low before her asked her if there was anything she desired Yes she replied I have long cherished a wish to wear the earrings worn by the queen go to her and get them for me in 4 days a feast will be held i want to wear them on that day get the earrings for me and i shall know of your true devotion uttanka hearing this was filled with dismay nevertheless he set out through the forest to the city where he knew the king dwelt He had not gone far when he was a huge bull coming when he saw a huge bull coming towards him as it drew nearer uttanka saw seated upon the bull a man so large that he drew back in fear but the man called out uttanka drink this and he held out a cup full of some kind of liquid uttanka turned his head away but the man said drink uttanka it will help you on your way At last he came to the palace of the king he boldly went inside and did not stop to look about him till he saw the king himself seated upon the royal throne sir said uttanka bowing low i have come from a hermitage in the forest many miles from here the mistress desires to wear the earrings of the queen on the feast day and if i do not take them to her i will lose favor in my teacher's eyes The king smiled kindly upon the boy. "You must ask the queen," he said. "Go to her chamber and ask her." Uttanka went to the queen's chamber, but he could not find her. He went back to the king and said, "Sir, I cannot find her." The king looked at Uttanka as he stood there with the dust of travel upon his clothes and his hands and feet dirty and stained. "Is that how you would go to the queen?" he said. Uttanka felt ashamed washed and clean he again went in search of the queen this time he found her the queen held out her hand and uttanka saw the earrings sparkling in her palm you are a good child uttanka she said i give you the earrings willingly but be aware these earrings have long been coveted by the serpent king do not lose them uttanka thanked her and started for home dusk was falling and he was tired leaning against the trunk of a tree he rested placing the earrings on the ground beside him suddenly he saw a hand snatch the earrings and disappear he sprang to his feet and turned round in time to see the man dressed in rags running through the forest uttanka ran after him as fast as he could when suddenly the man changed into a snake which wriggled into a hole in the ground uttanka was greatly distressed for try as he did he could think of no way to get through so small a hole he sat down to lament his fate when an old man appeared before him do not worry my son he said i have come to help you even as he spoke there was thunder and lightning and a great thunderbolt fell the whole earth shook with the force of it suddenly all was quiet again but next to where uttanka stood was a big hole in the ground uttanka entered the hole and found himself in the kingdom of the serpent king he walked slowly along and came to two women weaving a piece of cloth He asked them the way to the palace of the serpent king they did not heed him and went on with their weaving he saw that their cloth was made of black and white threads next he came to a wheel with 12 spokes six boys turned the wheel round and round what are you doing he asked the boys 
they did not answer him and went on with their work so he went on till he saw a man with a beautiful horse uttanka went up to him he was so struck with the horse that he bowed respectfully to the man and said oh lord i bow to you grant me a favor the man turned and said what can i do for you uttanka replied let the serpent king be brought under my power blow into this horse the man replied uttanka went up to the horse and blew and blew and from every hair of the horse body darted a flame that shot through every space in the kingdom of the serpent king it burned the house till all the serpents rushed out begging uttanka to save their lives let the serpent king return the earrings said uttanka all the serpents then clamored for the king to return the earrings he did the man gave uttanka the horse and in a few months he was back at the hermitage just in time to give the earrings to his guru's wife for the feast she blessed him for his great courage when uttanka related his adventures his master smiled and said the dirty liquid you drank my boy was ambrosia it will give you eternal youth the two maidens weaving the black and white threads are night and day the man was the god of rain and the horse was the god of fire you have been well looked after my child and deserve my blessings go into the world now for great fortune awaits you thus uttanka having fulfilled his duties went into the world to seek his living he was not as other men for he knew that god protected him he had nothing to fear thank you